Apollo's Vault. My first ever inescapable prison. It was thrown, but I didn't think it was perfect. By the time I'm writing the script, Apollo's Vault still isn't escaped. But still, we wanted to make a new prison. So I present to you Hestia's Grave. Our newest inescapable prison. This prison is smaller, but has stronger features. Let's enter Hestia's Grave. You will press this button and call all the guards to the prison. The guard will open the outside portal and you'll re-enter to enter the prison. You will store your items and go through the first kill check. You respawn and get a fire resistant potion to go through the lava tunnel. Once up the lava walkway, the separation is there. The visitor goes left and the prisoner goes right. Let's go through the prisoner route first. You go up this water elevator. The guard will open the water elevator and you will get killed. And once you respawn, you enter the cell. The main cell. The main cell is probably the strongest and most important part of the prison. The cell is filled with lava. You get a new potion of fire resistance every seven and a half minutes. The cell is completely surrounded with obsidian. The respawn bed and respawn points are way above the reach of the prisoner. Now let's give the prisoner a little visitor. The visitor goes through the kill check, but unlike my other kill checks, he respawns the first time in a lava chamber and he gets killed again. So no items get through. When he respawns again, he gets pushed down and he gets fire resistance. And he can enter. The guard can decide how long the visitor can stay because every 4 minutes the visitor dies. And the guard can decide if he is allowed to go in again. If the guard however feels like the visitor is done, he blocks the lava and the visitor will respawn at world spawn. He can get his stuff back by entering again. Now let's get on to why this prison is even stronger than before. Let's get into the kill checks first. The bed now has hopper minecarts under it, and if a single item gets picked up, a, a lockdown will be called. So if you destroy the minecarts, there will be a lockdown. Throwing an item on the bed is impossible, since you can't get an angle due to the stair. This skill check also has an entity check in it. On the visitor route, you even get killed again. So if there are any items on the bed, you will be forced to pick it up and die losing your item. Even if the visitor gets an item in, he won't be able to transfer it. The item will be burned, and if you put too much items in the dropper, a lamp and a guard array will lit. Speaking about the cell, the reason we chose for obsidian instead of cobblestone generator is because every 8 minutes you have to stop mining to take your potion. And even with a netherite efficiency 5 pickaxe, it takes 30 minutes to dig a single block. Spawn blocking is impossible, since there are two spawn spots with trapdoors to prevent block placing. But, if it, it, but even if you manage to block them, you will respawn in a lava box. Spawn killing you, and since you are standing on a redstone ore, the guards will notice and come fix it. The guards have with them three strategic inspecting spots. One up at the spawn point, one down in the middle somewhere and one down to look in the lava. At the lowest one there is a small guard hub. The guard there has a composter glitch and he can close the trap door and stop the fire resistance timer. There are also two lamps, one to indicate if there are multiple items in the dropper and one to see if the spawn point is blocked. He also has a lockdown button. Speaking about lockdowns, what is a lockdown? Just like Olaf's fault, Hestia's grave has local lockdowns. By flicking the keycard lever, the whole section will be closed off. But there are also prison-wide lockdowns. That means the whole prison will be closed down and all the guards will teleport to their guard hub. But when? If you break a carpet in the main hallway, lockdown. Are there two or more entities on the gold or pressure plate? Lockdown. Did the hopper minecart pick up an item? Lockdown. Do you try to take the lava from the lava walkway? Lockdown. Do you try to break in from the outside? Lo Wait, what? Hold up. 
I think I have to explain that one first. The outside is made from the standard pattern, by alternating between lava, water and multiple layers of obsidian. But during the test phase of the prison, we discovered a new thing. Anvils. Anvils have the ability to fall down and are blast proof. The prison has two layers of anvils to build height. That means the person breaking in has to destroy all the anvils and not only that. Once you take out an anvil in the inside layer of the prison, a lockdown will be called. All the guards are teleported to the prison. Breaking into the prison is with that extremely hard since the main cell is literally the middle point of the prison. Let's get into some invalid escape method. Chorus fruiting. One of the simplest but most effective ways. Because the chorus through the day keeps the cops away. So the whole prison is chorus fruit proof. After the lava walkway, every block is filled with water. Or you have to crouch or crawl through, which means you can't go us through. Breaking in. Like I just said, breaking is in is impossible without the guard noticing. Except when you come down from build height. But that would mean you have to dig over 200 blocks of obsidian. Sneaking an item in. No. You can't get an angle on the top of the bed. At a prisoner bed you can't even see the top. And in the visitor bed you are getting killed again immediately. Now with all those safety measures and new and improved features. I think it's safe to say that Hestia's grave is the second inescapable prison possible to build a survival Minecraft. I want to thank a few people before we end. First, a huge shout out to Zane from Zane Likes Minecraft. He helped a lot and I don't know if I could have done it without him. I really recommend checking him out, he'll be linked down below. Nether helped a lot of people with the creative design of the prison. I want to thank Beans for bringing us all together and coming up with the main cell and the name. I, want to, I also want to thank Aether84 and iName9k for creative design. And last but not least, thank you guys. The support has been absolutely mad. By the time I'm writing this script, we just hit 200 subs. Ho, oh, stop. So, this is absolutely mad. I, write, I wrote this script yesterday, and yesterday we had 200 subs. It's been so crazy, because today, when I'm editing this video, it's actually 300 subs. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means absolutely the world to me. So I was thinking of maybe setting up a Discord server. Let me know if you would be interested in a Discord server and if you would join. Don't forget to subscribe.